Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to produce cooking gas at home from food waste. Cooking gas consists mainly of hydrocarbon gases such as methane, ethane, propane or butane. They are generally called liquefied natural gas, LNG. In this video, I'm going to take you through the biological process of how to produce cooking gas at home from food waste. If you're new to this channel, you may consider subscribing so that you can have instant access to our videos each time we upload them. Please note that the cooking gas and even the cooking gas we're going to be producing here is highly inflammable. Hence, when embarking on this project, make sure you have at least a firefighting device such as fire blanket or fire extinguisher readily available within the project vicinity. I will mention other precautions you will take as I proceed with these tutorials. Before I take you through the process, let me show you the simple equipment that we're going to be using for this process and the mechanism of its operation. This equipment is called biodigester. The biodigester is made with the following materials 20 or 25 liter water bottle or jerry can, 3 or 4 PVC pipe, gas valve or Bunsen burner, T valve, 3 or 8 PVC hose, funnel and tire tube. Now the diagram you're watching on the screen right now is the flow diagram of a biodigester. For details of how to construct a biodigester, I've dropped a link in the description box below this video. The link will take you to another video that will show you details of how to construct a biodigester. Now let me take you through the elementary biological process of how cooking gas can be produced at home from food waste. Cooking gas, also called liquefied natural gas, LNG, can be produced from organic food waste such as agricultural waste, kitchen waste, or animal waste such as cow dung. This is made possible by using anaerobic bacteria. These anaerobic bacteria are capable of breaking down the carbohydrate substances in the agricultural waste, kitchen waste, or animal waste into methane, which is the cooking fuel. Now, for this process to be successful, the reaction must take place in the absence of oxygen gas. Based on the fact mentioned above, the following must be considered in the construction of the biodigester. Number one, ensure that the biodigester is airtight so that oxygen gas does not go into the biodigester from the air. This means that this reaction should take place in the absence of oxygen. The presence of oxygen in the biodigester will not allow methane to be formed. Number two, when constructing the biodigester, paint the biodigester color to be black, or simply you can use a black color 20 liter water bottle or 20 liter cherry can. The black color prevents ultraviolet light from the sun from penetrating into the biodigester. The presence of UV light in the biodigester will give rise to the formation of green algae. Green algae is a plant and if it is formed in the biodigester, in the process of photosynthesis, the green algae will liberate oxygen into the biodigester and that can impede the formation of methane. And now let's talk about the food waste. The food waste, also known as biomass feedstock, can be agricultural waste, kitchen waste or animal waste. Agricultural waste can be stock of sugarcane waste, maize waste, guinea corn waste, etc. Your kitchen waste can be plantain peel, banana peel, orange peel, yam peel and waste from fruit and vegetables such as pineapple waste, cucumber waste, watermelon waste, etc. You can also use animal waste such as poultry waste or cow dung. When using agricultural waste or kitchen waste, simply grind the waste into paste by adding water to it and then some quantity of cow dung can be added to it. When making the paste with agricultural waste, it should not be too watery and should not be too thick. When using cow dung, use equal amount of water and cow dung. For example, if you're using 10 kg of cow dung, then add 10 kg of water. In this particular production, we're going to be using cow dung and we're using here 6 kg of cow dung. Hence, we're going to add 6 kg of water. Now, let me show you how to mix the cow dung. Now, measure 6 kg of cow dung and also measure 6 kg of water. Now add the water to the cow dung and stir properly.
Now with the aid of a funnel, gently pour the cow dung waste into the biodigester. Now this is a biodigester, this is the reactor and this is the reservoir. The jerry can, the black jerry can is acting as the reactor and the tube is acting as the reservoir. Now as methane gas, which is the cooking gas, is produced here, due to increase in pressure, it will move from the reactor into the tube. And as the methane is moved from the reactor into the tube, the tube will therefore inflate. So we'll keep this set for three to four weeks and we keep checking the progress of gas production every day. Now this is week 3 after setting up the biodigester and the tube which is acting as our reservoir is well inflated now. And so we're going to test if what we have inside the tube is methane gas. We will now on the gas tap and light the burner. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, our project is very, very successful. We've been able to produce cooking gas, which is methane, from cow dung. I told you earlier in the course of this tutorial that you can either use agricultural waste, kitchen waste, or animal waste as your feedstock. Please, as a point of emphasis, I must say here that the cooking gas produced by this process is also highly inflammable. So when performing this project, make sure you have fire extinguisher or fire blanket available within the project vicinity. Now I can connect this tube to a burner in my kitchen and I have direct source of energy. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can also visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Sunshine Resources SRTV. You can follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.